Hi everyone, I am Nirav and in this video series we will learn how to install SQL Server on Linux environment. So let's start to open the portal.azure.com and we will create first resource group. Give the resource group name. So here I am giving Ubuntu SQL. Selecting the West India. You can select any region. Review and create. And click on create button. Okay. So resource group created. Let's click on refresh button. Now go to the virtual machine. Click on add button. And give the name, select the resource group Ubuntu SQL virtual machine, same Ubuntu SQL, uh, select the region, South is West India, West India, Ubuntu, give the username, admin DC, uh, we are using password, give the password. Next, there is no change on default setting. Click on next. Uh, NIC network security group none. Click on next. 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 So, deployment is underway. Let's quickly check. Click on refresh button. Creating. Okay, so deployment is succeed. Go to the Ubuntu server. So till now we have created a virtual machine having a Ubuntu OS. Now we will install a SQL server in this. Ubuntu OS. So, for connecting a Linux environment, we will require one software called Putty. So, I have already installed the Putty. So, you just uh, <coughs> Google it and download the Putty software. Click on connect button. Go to the SSH. Now, Let's click on open the Putty software. Run and type the IP address, public IP address. So 104. So now we are in the Linux machine. So type the admin DC and type the password. Yeah, so welcome to Ubuntu 18.4.2 LTS version. So now we are in the Ubuntu machine. Now, okay, so now let's install the SQL Server or the Ubuntu. So for uh, installing the SQL Server, first we have to register and then we have to install the SQL Server. So there are a four steps to install the SQL Server. So let's first import a public registry using this command. Okay. Now just register the SQL Server Ubuntu repository. So this is a sudo. Sudo means super user. It means admin user. So register done. Now let's install. So let's first sudo get update and let's install the SQL server. sudo get install ms SQL server. So if you see 980 MB 
additional disk space will be used. Now the SQL Server ISO file will be there. So if you see here, it's reading a package list. First, download all the required packages, SQL Server packages, and then. So unpacking the MS SQL Server now. Wait for a minute. Okay. So now if you see, please run the sudo dot op optional MS SQL bin MS SQL config setup. So now the all the packages are available here. Now we have to run it. So let's click on setup button. Yeah. Uh, this is please run the choose the addition which addition you want to install so i am going with this two second developer addition do you have a license term yes by default do you accept the license term yes let's give the password this is a um, so this is by default the sa password system administrator password so let's give the password here so we have configured the sa password yeah so setup has completed successfully sql server is now starting so let's check the status of SQL. So if you see the status is active 19 second hello okay so now here we have successfully installed uh, the sql server on ubuntu now let's quickly connect through the ssms and create a database on it so let's open the sql server management studio and Connect with the public IP address. You can see here 10, 10121156134. So select the username, essay, and password. Click on connect. So now you are connecting a SQL server from Ubuntu OS. Okay, so now let's create a database. So you can give the name test data. Click on OK. Now database got created. You can create a table. Let's quickly check the version. Microsoft SQL Server, RTM CU 15, the developer edition on Linux Ubuntu. Okay. Ubuntu SQL is our server name. Now you can configure the property here memory you can configure the mean and max memory database configuration data file log file backup file also you can configure that you temp db you can add a file based on your processor so thanks for watching see you in the next video